Okay, so in this video, I just want to offer a really brief way of negating all or some statements. So let's make an all statement. Let's say all students love green, the color green. This is our all statement. So all students love green. So if you were to say this, what you're saying is that everyone loves green, which means that there's no one who does not love green because everyone loves it. Well, you can easily negate this. Essentially, what happens when you negate an all statement is it becomes a sum statement. Because you could negate this by saying, well, no, Sean, not all students love green. Some students, right, some students do not love green. That's the negation. Because here you're saying some students, and it really means at least some students because all students could not love green that's true but when you're negating it you in general would say some students do not love green that's a negation now the sum is not quantified some could be everybody in the group we don't know how many it is but the negation is that well there are at least some students who do not love green in a general sense you can say that the students let's say represent a and loving green is statement B. So you can say in one sense you have your statement all A are B. In other words, all students love green. The negation some A are not B. Are not B. In other words, some students do not love green. And that's a negation. Now, what if you start with a sum statement? What if I started by saying, this is the interesting part, I think. If you say some students, right, love green. How do you negate a sum statement here? Because this is, it's tempting to think it would go back to all students love green. That's a negation. Well, the thing about this is it's a little bit different. It's not really the same as some students do not love green. It's not really the same as saying some students love green. They're different things. Here, the sum statement, in fact, negates a little bit differently. It negates to a none statement, right? Love green. Because here you're saying that, well, if there are some students who love green, well, there must be some of them. Well, the opposite of that is saying, no, there's no students that love green. So this negates a little bit differently. So some A are B, right? What that becomes is no A are B. And A, of course, is students. So A, students, some students, some A love green. So some A are B. Well, then no students are B. That's the negation there. All right, hope this helped.